Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Ooh, itch. Um, so, I am looking a bit pink, that's because I've just taken a face mask off, don't worry, my skin's not flared up again. But, hello, welcome back, I'm LJ, uh, if you are new here, hi. Um, yeah, let's get on with this. So, I was going through my makeup, um, I've got a couple of new bits, which I will point those out to you as we go. Um, but I was noticing how much makeup now is becoming more cruelty free, which obviously is amazing. Um, so I thought I would do a video on it. Um, so I'm just going to get straight into it. To start with, I'm going to go in, obviously like I said, I've just done a face mask, so I need some moisture. I'm going to use the 2% Hyaluronic Acid from Revolution Beauty, which Revolution is cruelty free and it's um the oh it is like officially registered cruelty free so there is a couple of revolution bits but i have tried to like not do all revolution because i could do quite easily do like a full place revolution um but then i'd just be naming this full face revolution instead of full face cruelty free um i think all of this is actually apart from one product is drugstore um and the only reason i am using one high-end thing is just because i haven't been able to oh, i have got a um drugstore cruelty free option but i prefer the color of what I'm going to use which obviously you will see in a bit but to start with uh, I'm going to go in on the eyes so I'm just going to prime and I'm so happy elf 16 hour camo, camo concealer uh, is cruelty free um, I will link the website down below that I found the list on so obviously if it isn't right then that's where I got my information from but um, a lot of this does have like either the leaping bunny or the cruelty free um, sign on it so obviously um, that is pretty straightforward um, there is a couple of Primark products in this video which there is a declaration on Primark's website like the official Primark website saying that all PS Beauty is now cruelty free as from July of 2018 um, so yeah there is a couple of Primark bits in here so obviously not technically drugstore but they are drugstore because they're drugstore price um, so we're going to start with the eyes obviously like I say I've just primed my eyes I'm going to take a Revolu the Revolution gorgeous packaging uh, Revolution Jeweled Collection Palette in Gilded which looks a little like this um, and I'm going to keep the eyes pretty simple because I've got a pressed uh, a loose pigment to go on the lids so I only really want this for some transition transition shades so I'm going to just take a nice big fluffy brush and I'm going to use the colour the colour um, summer love this one right here i'm gonna go sort of like a bronzy glowy look like i say i'm just keeping it nice and simple we just want this is more just to like give you an idea of what makeup is cruelty free obviously i can't name everything everything is super easy to get um in the uk but it just gives you an idea of what is out there um I mean like Milk Cosmetics, I think pretty much their whole brand is 100% cruelty free. Um, I know it's not that easy to get in the UK, it is becoming more accessible, but um, it isn't that easy to get. Flower Beauty is a brand that I haven't tried, but that is cruelty free. Uh, if any of you have tried it, do let me know because it is slightly more expensive than drugstore um and the only reason i haven't really tried it is just because the products seem very 
luminising, very glowy based and you all know me, I like my matte base, um, no oils, no nothing like that and that is the only reason I haven't tried Flower Beauty just because um, I don't want the makeup to fall off my face <laughs> pretty much um, so I'm just going to take a slightly smaller brush um, and go in with the colour Morocco which is on this bottom bottom row and um, just take that through my crease just to deepen the crease up like so we're going nice and bronze and glowy just doing a warm tone look today just because um actually i have got another um loose pigment but it was in white and i'd love to use that but i need a bit more time i'd have to do i want to do like if i'm using that i want to do like a something more detailed and everything and um like i say this isn't really a tutorial it's more just these are the products that are out there at the minute hopefully more products will be come because i know obviously there is a lot of people that are trying to go cruelty free um and vegan not all of these products are vegan that i'm aware of um there are vegan options like i've got some b makeup um, by superdrug um and they if you go on their official website um not their no not b sorry mua if you go on their official website there is a tab that you can tap vegan um and it brings up all of their vegan products um so obviously there are vegan and cruelty free out there but this is at the minute just cruelty free um so yeah that was the revolution palette now the next thing i'm going to go in with is um a b cosmetic that's why i was thinking of it and it's a loose shimmer um what color is it in it's in the color ziggy um so i'm just gonna it's got like a little dispenser so i'm just gonna tap some of that out on the lid and gonna try it just by pressing it on I don't know if I'm gonna need a glue or a wet base um, but let's let's try this this color looks gorgeous pick some up on the brush put my mirror down let's this on the eyelids feels really soft like really buttery and um, it's really shimmery <laughs> I suppose you could use this as like a topper um, on an eye because it's not really super pigmented um, so you could get away with doing um putting like a shimmer and then doing or like putting a matte and then doing this as a shimmer over the top you could like damp this down if you want more payoff but what i am going to do i'm going to put the lid on this so i don't drop it everywhere because that would not go well um and i'm going to grab something else that's vegan free vegan free cruelty free um and it is the stila stila apparently is a that's the wrong color <laughs> stila is a cruelty free brand um also it says on the website and i'm just gonna take a little bit of this on the same brush that i just applied that loose pigment with and i'm just gonna Stamp that, dispense it all over the eye. I don't want it like super um, pigmented. I mean, you could, you could quite easily just do um, those colours that we did through the crease and then just swipe this straight along the lid. Um, 
because that is what that is how pigmented these are. They have so much sparkle in them. And then just to make sure it's like really dispersed, I'm gonna, while it's still damp, take my finger and just spread it about a little bit. On to base, base. Um, and I'm gonna mix two foundations. Um, I am using glitter apparently for my base. Um, I'm using Revolution for both of my foundations. That is one thing I did find, my foundations. Apparently I haven't got that many that are cruelty free, so we're going with Conceal and Define in F2. This is so quick and easy. I love using this like when I'm brushing in the morning because it's just so easy and then just buffs out so quick. And then I'm going to use the matte base uh, in F5 just to deepen that up a little bit. And then I'm going to take my Revolution br brush, foundation brush, um, and blend that in. Super easy, super quick to blend. Um, yeah, love those two foundations anyway. I mix those norm daily pretty much anyway. So for concealer, I'm just going to use the e.l.f. like I have been using. Um, I've actually got a couple um, that are cruelty free. Uh, the Nabla one is. Um, I like that one. The only thing I don't like about that one, sometimes it does crease on me. Not always. Um, I think it all depends on the base that I'm wearing underneath. So like the foundation I'm wearing. Um, but yeah, I do like that one. I do need to get a lighter shade in this e.l.f. concealer though. I love how brightening it is, but it is quite bright. Um... I need to get one that's more, that's like closer to my skin tone. Um, Cause this one's great, like if I want like super highlighted look, but not so much if I just want a natural, um, like fresh face, no makeup day. Cause obviously this does not look like no makeup. just um yeah the revolution concealers obviously are cruelty free because pretty much everything in the revolution brand is cruelty free urban decay is even though l'oreal isn't which urban decay is owned by l'oreal um but urban decay is so obviously just be aware of that if you are trying to go cruelty free um, and like 100% cruelty free. Um, the parent companies of certain brands may not be cruelty free so obviously just be aware of that. Um, and then the only, like I say, high end products that I'm going to use in this is Kat Von D. All of Kat Von D is... Um, cruelty free and I'm going to use the press, no, the loose powder in translucent to set my face today. Now there are some like bigger uh, drugstore com um, brands which actually aren't cruelty free. It tends to be the smaller ones um, like MUA, B, Revolution, um, Wet and Wild are as well. Um, yeah, so 
just like I say, just check. If you're unsure, check online. If they've got an official website, it does normally tell you on there, like in the About Me or About Us um, section. So obviously, if you're unsure, just check. The internet tends to normally knows what it's on about. Not always. <laughs> Not always. Um, but... Yeah, they definitely know. Oh no, I was going to cream contour, but I forgot I'm powdered, I got ahead of myself. Um, so yeah, I was going to cream contour with the Revolution Matte Base, but obviously I have powdered my face now, so we're not going to do that. Um, but you've seen me do that in quite a lot of my videos, if you haven't, um, I'll try and link, I'll link the Matte Base Testing um, video where I use that for the first time um, and since I use that I've used that nearly daily um, just because I like how it lasts throughout the day um, so yeah I will try and remember to link that um, now I'm gonna go now I've got two things to contour with one of them I'm a bit, I'm a bit scared of. Um, I've got the MUA Bronze and Sculpt um, Contour Kit. And then I've also got the Imagination, which is going to play havoc with my lighting. Um, Highlights the Moon um, palette. And when I say I'm scared of it, the MUA. Look how dark that is. Look how dark that is. So I think I'm going to go into the Imagination to Bronze. And I think I'm going to take warrior and literally uh, mixed together on the brush just to sculpt my cheeks a little bit if you wanted um like a cruelty free face palette this is a good one because you've got your setting powders your contours and highlights the only thing it hasn't really got is like a bronzer um but it has got like pretty much everything to start off your cruelty free um collection couldn't think of the word there I'm just going to take, um, literally, even though it's a darker shade, it's slightly warmer, and I'm just going to use that to bronze up and sculpt my nose, just so it looks a part of my face, but I'm just going lightly with that, just because it is winter, and I am at my playlist at the minute, so obviously... We're not careful. Bronze and contour can look very out of place. There we go. So it just sort of brought a bit more shape. It doesn't look like it's just one flat canvas. Um, so I'm going to put that one down. Now I'm going to go into the bronze and sculpt from MUA and use their bronzing colour, which is this top one, which I've actually broke. It keeps coming out. Um, I'm going to use this to warm up my face. Okay, so that's just... Uh, move back, there we go. That's just warmed me up a bit. I'm sat a bit too close to my lights, I think, today. That's just warmed up my face. I mean, you can see, if, as soon as I come closer, I look washed out again. But that's just warmed me up a bit. And then, to warm me up even further... Um, I picked this up the other day when I went to Superdrug and it's the MUA um, blush in Papaya Whip. Let me open. Oh. How gorgeous that colour is. It is a matte colour. Um, it's similar. I'm just going to grab it now. Similar to the L'Oreal one but just slightly paler. Um... 
so I'm just gonna take that on my blush brush not with the cat hair that's gross Jess um, and I'm gonna warm up my cheeks I think I might have a bit of shimmery blush left on this blush brush because um, my cheeks are looking a little bit glowy So that, yeah, you can see. I think I've got a bit of shimmery blush left on that, but that's nice. I like that. I like the colour of that. It's actually more suited to my skin tone at the minute because, like I say, it's winter and I'm pale. I'm just going to take a bit of that brown, uh, blusher actually up onto my forehead because it's like a peach colour. You can kind of get away with it. I don't do that when I've got pink blush on. No. Um, so let's do the under eyes and then we will finish off the rest of the face. Um, I'm just going to grab some brushes and I will be right back. I'm going to go back into the palette um, that we were using earlier. I'm just going to take its uh, Revolution like, flat fluffy brush. I'm going to take the shade Morocco and just put that along my lower lash line. And then with the shade Summer Love, which is the one we used, like this nice warm tone, I'm just going to blend that out. I like that it's kind of like a terracotta um, orange more than a... Um, like orange orange so it's more burnt orange there we go uh, to finish off the eyes I'm actually going to use a mascara that I've not used and it is the B by Superdrug uh, lengthening mascara and let's have a little hmm? A security tag still on there. Let's get rid of that. Let's have a little look at it. I actually haven't even, like I say, tried this. So let's see what it does for me. It's not too bad. Let's pick. No! I've got mascara halfway up the wand. That was clever. So it is picking my lashes up slightly. Um, I think it's going to be one of those that needs like a little bit of building. My lashes aren't looking their best at the minute. I've been wearing um, falses a bit and they always get a bit neglected when I wear falses. So that's one coat, which isn't isn't really bad. Ignore this, we will clean this up in a minute. Um, but let me do the other eye and then we'll come back and do another coat on this one. Okay, so that is everything with two coats on. I wouldn't say it's super lengthening, but um, definitely like added some something to the look. Um, gonna leave that a little bit longer just to make sure I don't take off half of my makeup. Um, but yeah, the only thing I will say is the wand length is really long, so you feel like you're like all the way over here when you're trying to put your mascara on. Um, so yeah, that's the only thing I will say about that is it's um, quite long. Wait if I get. Like, this is my one that I normally use, my Revolution. So that's the difference in size. Like, that's where the lid starts. So it's, like, quite a big difference. Um, and it just felt a little bit off. 
um but for highlighter now um i have got my wet and wild obviously i've got loads of revolution but the one thing that i want to try which i bought the other day is the mua shimmer highlight powder in pink shimmer which looks blinding when i do it like that can't get into it which looks like this it's like a pink champagne kind of color and i did swatch it on my hand which i think i've washed off um but i'm kind of hoping it's not too dark because like when if i bring it right up close it is quite dark but we're going to put it on the face anyway i do like a pink highlighter so let's let's try okay so it is very pink it's also very glowy so there's a sl slight slight cast like tiny cast but I kind of don't mind because I really like that colour let's take it's probably not the best colour to go for seeing as I've got like bronzy and everything but like I say it was new I wanted to try it um so, I did. Get rid of this mascara. Hopefully, and it is quite like I say, it's quite long. That's how you can like you can see how long it is. just like flick off but this really doesn't want to mm. now all I'm doing is just like creating a gap in my face great okay we're gonna ignore this um, and just bronze we'll just look at this side We'll just take focus from this side today so that mascara don't get it on your face because it's not going to come off um still going to highlight this side because we have to yeah i like that um, and then what have we not done? Brows. Let's do a quick brow. I'm gonna just do you go. Oh my god! Just gonna use the Primark brow pencil in Cool Brown, and I'm not really because they are freshly done. Don't need to do a massive amount of them. Um, I have got a brow tutorial. If it's up, I will link it. If not, turn on the notification bell and you will get that. It's coming up very, very soon. I've just filmed, well, say just, like filmed it like two days ago. So that is up on hopefully my channel now. But if not, like I say, turn on the notifications. Whoa, and you will be notified. Um, so to finish it off, I'm going to go in with the Primark Lip Liner in, I want to say, Skin on something. No idea. Nude in the buff. I'm just going to lightly pencil, I don't want anything really heavy. Uh, 
and then I'm going to take a Primark lipstick, which is barely there, which is like a super light nude. And then because we've gone sparkly on the eyes, I'm going to add a bit of sparkle to the lip, which is the Exquisite Lip Topper from Revolution which actually matches, or it was like out from the same collection as the eyeshadow palette that we used. And there we go. So this is my finished look. Ignore this. Look at this. Uh, so yeah, what do you think? Let's take those off. So this, oh, it's not a good hair look. That's better. That actually covers the mascara mark as well. So yeah, um, hope you liked this. Um, obviously, I know it's completely different to what I normally do. Um, I normally don't sort of say anything about cruelty free or vegan or anything like that. But I know there are people out there that are very conscious of it. So I wanted to put it out there. Um, that there are some very affordable things yes some things are um forgot what I was going to say oh yeah yeah that some things are um high end that are vegan um but as well if that is something that you are really um conscious about um then there is nothing wrong with spending that little bit extra cash on the things that you really want. Um, but yeah, I think I really hope you like this look. Like I said, there are a couple of high-end products that I've used. Majority drugstore, so it is out there. If you are just getting started in makeup and you do want some cruelty-free stuff, I hope I've given you some options. Um, I will try and list couple of things down below which I do use as well um, but yeah if you did like this video please give it a thumbs up um, subscribe to my channel and um, head over to Instagram and I will see you all in my next video bye